everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Looking for an exciting one in the Pac-12 today. Warm-ups just about concluded. That means the hitting will soon commence. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. UCLA is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. He's taken down at the 19. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Inside give. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. Brings up second and one. Quick toss. Almost intercepted. You had a quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and 11. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's to the 40. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. taken down around the 39 yard line boy when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains you got a big time advantage over any defense knocked out of bounds at the 38 yard line jensen picks up about a yard with that completion five wide At the 38. That'll make it third and nine. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
He's knocked out of bounds right around the 30. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Fresno State could take the lead with this field goal. And it's good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's check out what's going on in Tempe. And for Arizona State, they now have nine wins, a very solid year. Arizona State wins it 24-10. All right, Reese, back to our game. The Bulldogs. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six yards. We gotta move quick. We gotta move quick right now. That'll bring up second and three. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. UCLA's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 49. No gain on the play. That'll make it third and five. Over the middle to his tailback. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Cohen brings him down at the 50-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Covington is waiting for the snap. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Fresno State has a three-point lead. One play and he'll lose yards. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. from their own 12-yard line. Third down. He wants it all. Incomplete. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. McGuire is the punter. Lee takes it to the 45. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. 
He does have the ability to make guys miss. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They push him out around the 27-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it third and one. I got one, I got one, I got one. Time out, ready. Six, six. Caught out in the open. And down he goes around the 16-yard line. From the eight yard line, second down. Touchdown, Bruins. I don't think anybody was expecting that kind of get up from the big foot. That's a heck of a weapon to have in your arsenal. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 36-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 7-3. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23. UCLA's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws it, and it's tipped away. Jensen was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball in the 23. Here we go, D. Pressured and brought down. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. Boy, what a hit on the quarterback. He was lucky to hang on to the ball during that sack. And he's hit immediately. Let's go. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, let's go. Mike six. Mike six. He's got it with room to run. He's out of bounds at the 45. For a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. You. I got you. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Up the middle for a nice game. A first down run by the tailback. Anytime you have an aggressive defense like this, mixing in a draw player or two can soften them up a little. Roger, Roger. Mike six. Mike six. 
scrambling around. They bring their quarterback down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. Check, 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 check. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. There's a strike complete. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. That brings up third and 14. Here we, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. Easy, easy, easy. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Wire to punt. Tackle at the 26. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when Still you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 13. UCLA is up by four. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Ball on the ball on the ball. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Get out, get out. With a quick throw. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Tries to get around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second and 13. Ball on the 36 yard line. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's good for a game of three yards. Third down. complete he's got space to work he steps out at the 41 yard line
Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-3, UCLA. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Lee is back awaiting the punt. 21-yard punt. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. UCLA is up four. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Big Ben on the inside handoff. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Big Ben picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up third and eight. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Alston is back to receive. He dropped it. He's tackled at the 13. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. And in a tight game like this one, it's a mistake like that one that could really be the turning point in the game. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. Second and 11. Ball on the 12. Waller takes a handoff. Brought down with only one man to beat. Gain of 26 on the play. First down. I got one. I got one. 35 to Mike. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. this one out to the left and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds when you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that you've got the defense right where you want them caught it but they're going to lose yards he was tackled immediately catch that's a game of 17 on the play first down they'll keep it on the ground again he's taken down around the 30 yard line that makes it second and ten Here's the halfback. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Third 
third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Fires quickly to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll make it fourth and two. It's our time. It's our time. Mike six. Mike six. Yeah. Out of bounds, right around the 18-yard line. Gain of three on the play. First down. Check four, check four. I was getting the headache. I was getting the headache. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Watch the safety They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. We'll move this. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the safety three. Gets to about the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. They'll knock him down for a loss. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. Just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up and it's good. Fresno State gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UCLA up a point. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds at the 22-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Peyton was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Covington is waiting for the snap. the 47 yard line you know this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football the problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns the offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us brad in the booth next to us he's actually just taken off his headsets and i think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives and down he goes at the 47. Completely stopped immediately. Gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and six. Here we go, here we go. Mike 35, Mike 35. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst, that's the worst, that's the worst. 
Fires in a hurry. Interception. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. UCLA with a one-point lead. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. He's hit and taken down. the stop at about the 49. Mass of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Taken down around the 49-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. into the end zone and that'll be a touchback both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one yeah because they've been so conservative it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances well let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out so much in football is about how you respond to adversity moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that get to that quickly inside the 30 to the 20 the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And for Jensen, he takes his receiving yardage total to 100. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. Keep in mind, we're still in the second quarter, and this kid is putting up these numbers. Converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. The Utes are on top, 13 0. 13 7 game here. Fresno, Fresno State, State lined up lines up for the kickoff. For the kickoff. Excellent the kick. kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Run, run. Quick pass, intercepted. To the 20, to the 10, and he will score. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum.
and he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Lee fields it at the one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Got his back, but he can't hang on. Second and 10. Ball on the 26. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He's at midfield. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Fresno State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Let's see, do one of the linemen move first? Encroachment, defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. Ready? Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Call it a gain of 11 yards. From the 32-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Here we go. Flag on your line. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 20-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. That's right. Delta. First down. Caught out of the open. He's out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Three yards there on the play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. Fresno State's got a 16-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. And for Rose, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Tackle made at the 37. No game. Fourth down. Alston is the deep man awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 32. Return for a gain of 10 yards. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. The cavalry's coming. Second down and 17 to go. Ball on their own 25. Hey, check right, check right, Mike six, Mike six. Caught, open field. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Willis makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Roger, Roger. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. I'm coming for you. You are. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And he's taken down at the 21 yard line. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Takes the ball right. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Big opening. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. It 
was a little bit of running room, but once the defense had sized up the play, it closed in a hurry. will bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 42. Incomplete. Almost picked off. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. As they found out right here on this play. Covington to punt. He fields a punt at the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Field for a loss. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 30 yard line. Third down. He's going left. And it's incomplete. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. McGuire awaits the snap. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Returns for a gain of 10 yards. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And down he goes at the 43. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. He chucks it downfield. No, incomplete. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Fourth down. Alston, back to return it. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. And they make the stop around the 42 yard line. Number 35 on the tackle at the 42 yard line. First hey, down. Hey, hey. 
there's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second to eight. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike 35, Mike 35! Easy, easy, easy! Yeah. Buffalo, Buffalo! <laughs> Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. At this point, you got to think about changing something, whether it's the play calling. Whether it's the quarterback, this offense is not doing anything right. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. On the carry, gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. They tried to get a head start there. False start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep down. their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From their own 20-yard line, second down. The second time that he found the quarterback today. For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. From their own 18 yard line, it's third down. Throws it deep. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. The receiver found the hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. He steps out right around the 32-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. Anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. Quick throw, and he's leveled at the 29. Game of three on the play. Third down. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. scrambling decides to slide and they picked up four yards on the scramble
That brings up a second and goal. One yard to the goal line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Pitch play to the left. They're not done yet. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. He converts the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. As we check in on the Mountain West, a variety of styles in this country. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Utah, they're aiming for their seventh win in a row. The Utes are on top, 20 to 10. It's 23 to 14 in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Mike 35, Mike 35. Let's get on. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down around the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Steps up. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receivers. Harper was the intended receiver on the play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. You are not ready. You are not ready. 35 to Mike. Let's go. Three, 19. Come on. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 23-14, Fresno State. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Lee is back to receive. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Five wide. There's a strike complete to the 20. And they finally knock him out at the 11-yard line. That's good enough for another UCLA first down. <laughs> on the draw, tackle in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Gives it left side. Tackle right around the 14-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and 13. And so it's another third down upcoming here. You know, when 
you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it is good. UCLA to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. These guys on defense are trying hard, but still trailing. A score here might effectively end this one. Fresno State is up by six. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. The 10. Touchdown. And we're all tied up. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 34. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's here. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. About the 43 yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That'll make it 35. Under heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. Is the putter. He 
He's tackled at the 27. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. UCLA is up one. Loose football. It's recovered. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often, you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Mike 35, Mike 35. Winning. Going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Nice run there. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they get nice yardage on that run. Nice play, baby. Nice play. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. Larry, Larry. Mike 35, Mike 35. The 10. Tackle made at the eight-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And they got him for a loss. That brings up Second down and goal. Ball on the nine. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. He's in trouble. The ball pops free. It's picked up, and down he goes at about the 19-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at the action from Salt Lake City. And for Boise State, they've now dropped three in a row. Utah comes away with a 10-point win. All right, Reese, back to our game. Evans Fresno State is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Makes it out to about the 33. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. He's on the run. 
slides down to the ground. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's taken down at about the 31. Less than three minutes in the game. Has some daylight. Good outside run there. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He fights forward to about the 23. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Hands it off. Runs outside for a nice game. Makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up third and ten. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So the kicker is on, and this is for the lead. Will he be a hero on campus tomorrow? We have less than a minute to go. The kick is up. He clanks it off the upright. No good. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would be a victory. Tackle for a loss. The Bruins taking their first time out of the half. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. He gets to about the 27-yard line. UCLA is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They'll drop him for a loss. UCLA called their final timeout. That brings up fourth and three. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Tackle at the 49. He's able to get them a small chunk of the real estate they have to cover. They need to pick up some yards quickly to at least give their field goal kicker a chance to pull this one out. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Guns it across the middle. This one will fall incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 41. That's good for a game. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it fourth and inches. 
It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Makes it to the 31. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. So the kicker's on the field, and this kick is for the game. They'll try to ice him with a timeout here. There's the timeout we were all expecting. He gets it up. He missed it. Wide left. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 26-24, Bulldogs. And the UCLA Bruins. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.